So they get on uh, these different TikToks and different videos and they just complain. All they do is they point the finger and they play the victim and say, it's all men. It's you, it's you, it's you. Well, who's the common denominator? You are. You're the common denominator. And you're the reason why you're single. You would think with all my millennial navigational skills, I would have no problem navigating my own life, right? But eh, wrong. <laughs> Wrong. You know what's really funny is not too long ago in my life when I wanted to be self-destructive, I literally did drugs or outrageous risky things. Now in my life, when I want to be self-destructive or I'm feeling a little wild and want to live on the edge, I eat fucking cheese. The tables, they do be turning. They really do. Tell me why. Okay, tell me why. I very reluctantly get onto dating apps here and there, knowing damn well I'm not dating right now. It's one of my toxic traits. I don't want to fucking talk about it, okay? But what I do want to talk about is how I felt like there were so many old men, old men. I'm like, why are there so many old men on here liking me? Why? What is happening? What's happening here? Then I realized these men are my age. <laughs> these men are my age. I'm old. When am I going... What's not clicking, Rachel? What is wrong with me? I'm fucking over it. I'm calling the cops. I'm disgusted. I am sick of it. <laughs> you become single after you're with someone for fucking forever. And there are a million beautiful women out there for these men to just pick from. And us women have like, eh, this many men. There are no men. It's either they're old and have no hair, or it's, <laughs> they're old and they, there's only like 10 pop. Like there's just, it's, the ratio is not, it's, it's not there. It's not there. The epiphany phase is definitely real, guys. The wall comes from all. The clock is always ticking. When a woman hits 18, she has eight to 10, maybe a dozen years to find a quality man. But they do anything but that. They sleep around. They have hot girl summers. They go on this girl's trip. They date this bad boy. They sleep with this criminal, this guy in the street, this guy in the hood who has just swag and nothing to offer. So as they start to get older, they look back and say, man, where are all these good men, right? Where are all these guys? I'm 29, I'm 30, I'm 32, I'm 35. And they blame it on anybody but themselves. They say, well, all these men are trash. There's no financially attractive man. You men need to step up after they slept with all these type of dudes, after they got ran through by this dude, after they went to college, after they did whatever they want. See, accountability is a woman's kryptonite, and they hate to look in the mirror and acknowledge, I'm a loser. I chose this guy. I chose that guy. I slept with this bum. I slept with that bum. So now I have to pay the consequences. They don't like doing that. The only thing they want to do is point the finger and play the victim. But here's the thing, the wall doesn't care about you being a victim. The wall doesn't care about all the guys you slept with and who abused you, who used you. And see, here's the thing, the vast majority of women lie. They live in a land of delusion. They can't fathom that, man, my looks will decline because they're giving their value up front. And this is the bad part about being a woman. They don't understand their sexual market value and how the looks will decline, the vast majority of them. So they hook up with this guy, they reject this guy, they ghost this guy, they use this guy for a free meal, they use that dude for free drinks, they play texting game with 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, hundreds of men in their life. And then when they get to that certain age, they want to settle down on their terms. And they still think they got the same shekel market value when they were 22 as, as opposed to when they were 32 now. So they're looking like, man, uh, all these guys, where are they at? And they're not being chased after. The guys aren't desiring them. That's because when a man hits 32 years old, he's not going to want to be with a woman necessarily who's 32 as well. He's going to be the woman who, a woman who's four, maybe five years younger. And that's the usual sort of attracting this age gap when it comes to men and women and settling down and everything like that. So why would a man want to settle down and invest his time, resources, energy, money, into a woman who is a depreciating asset, who thinks that you owe me. And here's the thing, deal with a woman who's in her 30s or who's approaching that wall. They always have this entitlement sort of mindset. They think that, okay, a man has to do things my way. 
if he's not trying to settle down, if he's not trying to wife me, if he doesn't want to, you know, make me his girlfriend right now, then okay, you know what? Uh, screw him. Forget him. I, I don't want this, this type of guy. But here's the thing. What happened to all those dudes that you rejected? Those men who wanted to settle down with you when you were 22, 24, 25. What happened to all those dudes? You know what? She didn't care about those men. She rejected those men. She tossed them to the curb. She treated them like trash. She friend zoned the vast majority of them. And she slept with the guy that she really wanted to. This is why you should not feel bad for women who are single. Because they do it to themselves. Just like that woman. She's on a dating app. And I urge all you guys to get off those things. Because you're going to run into women just like that. She even said, you know, I get on dating apps basically, you know, just to pass the time. I don't even know why I'm really here. And they just waste guys' time. They swipe left. They swipe left. Swipe left. Swipe right. They just waste time. It's all for validation. See, uh, dating apps, what I figured out and I, and I really just you know understand about it, it's just a temperature check for women. That's all. They get bored and maybe they aren't being able to attract a certain type of guy that they really want. So they get on there. They create multiple dating profiles on different platforms, three, four, five of them. You guys know what I'm talking about. You might have seen that same type of woman on this dating prof profile, on this dating app. And you're like, I just seen this woman. And sometimes you might match with this woman on Bumble, this woman on Hinge, this woman on Tinder. You're like... We keep matching, but why, I mean, why are you not, you know, responding? You're not really, you know, having a conversation with me. That's because most women get on those things for attention and ego boost. And then they waste your time. And so many guys are frustrated and confused. Like, why aren't these women, you know, want to go on a date? Why do they want to meet up with me? Because most of them are boring. Most of them know that they have no real intentions of dating or ever meeting you at all. So they match with you, and then when you message them, they're like, uh, I'm match. Uh, or they give you one, two bro responses. You're like, come on, man, put some more effort in. And then you can just see that they're not really interested. They're just playing around. This is why, guys, any woman that's single, that's mad or frustrated, it's her own doing. Because she has loads of options. But so many women want this percentage guy, this top guy. And they don't really they realize that that top guy has a lot of different options of women. So what separates you? Nothing. What separates you? Uh, just you putting on makeup and you being somewhat attractive. And you can tell that that female, she was really attractive as she was, you know, five, maybe 10 years younger. Now her looks are starting to slip a little bit. Some guys will take her in. Let's be honest. She's a single mother. And a lot of guys will be want uh, to be a stepdad and everything. I've seen the videos and her comment section are full with thirsty guys who are saying you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, you know, your kids are, 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 are handsome and all these different things. Let me tell you something. She knows she's not all that attractive. She knows she can't attain and get a certain type of guy. This is why so many women make these social media uh, profiles and get on these platforms because they know they're miserable. They don't have the social skills. They don't have the relationship skills to attract and keep a guy. So they get on uh, these different TikToks and different videos and they just complain. All they do is they point the finger and they play the victim and say, it's all men. It's you. It's you. It's you. But who's the common denominator? You are. You're the common denominator. And you're the reason why you're single. See, it's easy for a woman to get a boyfriend. It's easy for a woman to get a husband from all these thirsty guys, right? From the bottom 10, the bottom 80%. But what about that top 10%? Can they get that guy? Can they keep his attention past the bedroom? And the answer is no. This is why so many women are being pumped and dumped and ran through because they're not willing to bring anything to the table. The only thing that they're going to do is they're going to show up with their hands out and they're going to say, okay, what are you going to do for me? And haven't you guys noticed that? The older you get, you start to see women who 28, 29, 30, 35, they have all these expectations and standards. If you came across their dating profile, you probably seen women who said, uh, you got to have, you know, this going. If you don't have this, if you don't have that, if you don't have, if you're not ready to settle down, if you're not ready to treat me like a queen, if you're not ready to wine and dine me, then uh, don't message me. Don't swipe right. And you're like, and you never see anything about what they're bringing to the table. It's all about them. And it's what most women are. They're solipsistic, they're selfish, and they only care about themselves. I mean, look, I'm quite sure you guys have seen the dating profiles. You see tons of women have all these re requests and, and, and requirements and demands. And you start to look like, I mean, you're not even all that attractive. On top of that, what makes you so valuable? I mean, what? 
This is why I tell you guys, the dating apps are, are, are just full of women who are delusional. They are the ones who nobody really wants to be with long term. They don't want to, you know, uh, settle down with. So they go to the dating apps to see, okay, let me try to find the Prince Charming. Let me try to find this perfect guy. But there's no perfect guy. Women on dating apps, they want to strike you rich. Boom. But they don't want to do any work. That's the key. And you can tell she doesn't want to do any work. She wants to get a, a certain small, minute percentage of guy. And that guy is probably 0.2% on a, on Tinder or, or Bumble or Plenty of Fish or, or okay, keep it. That small percentage. And now she wants that guy to jump through hoops and work hard for her. This is why so many women are single and delusional and lost and confused because they think that they're God's gift to mankind. That they don't have to do any work all they have to do is show up, put on makeup, put on leggings, and you better wine and dine them and give them the world. It's crazy when you really think about it, but this is how most women think. They don't want to really help you build. They don't want to necessarily support you. Uh, they don't uh, want to uh, be a, a teammate or a cheerleader. They just want to say, hey, I'm me. And you're like, okay, what's so special about you? And then when you ask them, so what you bring to the table, you know, what am I kind of getting? They get offended. They get upset and angry because they know they don't bring anything and they don't plan on bringing anything, but their mouths open and their palms up and occasionally their legs open.